video, I want to show you how to make some small bows for adding to your buttonholes and your corsages. You could use some fabric ribbon, but when you're starting off, it's easier probably to try it with the florist ribbon. So this is the cheap florist ribbon that's waterproof, and it's available in most flower shops for sale. You will also need some silver wires. These are an extremely light wire, and they're a 26 gauge. In previous videos, I have used 22 gauge wires, and I did call them light, but these are much, much lighter. So to start, you need a strip of ribbon. Depending on the size of the buttonhole and the corsage, you can decide how big you want to make this bow. This ribbon is obviously too wide, so because it's flowers ribbon, using my fingernails, I can make small little cuts and tear the ribbon to whichever width I prefer. I'm going to use one of the thinner pieces. So this is like the small collar bow that I showed you on our previous videos, but it's much, much tinier. So I'm wrapping it around as if it was the person's neck and crossing it under their chin. Or remember I described it as the breast cancer bow in our previous videos. The back of the loop I'm going to bring into the front of the loop. And then using my finger and thumb where I'm gripping it, I'm going to gather and pleat in there as tight as I can. It's quite tricky because it's very tiny. Then using one of our silver wires, I'm going to wrap the silver wire around the centre and pull the two pieces of silver wire to the back nice and tight. And using the tops of my fingernails, I'm going to twist, twist, twist the silver wire. Then you can put your fingers and thumb in between the loops if you're able to fit them and just give your loops a little bit of a stretch. And then your two tail pieces, you can chuck them down and then if you want to fancy off the ends of them. So to place this on your buttonhole, use your little silver wires and just twist it around the stem and then cover it in your gutter tape. In later videos I will show you how to make these in fabric and how to do a double version of them. So make sure to watch out for our other free tutorials on our blog site. 